Hello, everyone. I was sitting in my office with my colleague and talking about the future of humanity with AI and artificial general intelligence, or AGI, and how much we can extend our trust. We talked about trust that was fostered um, innovation and cooperation. It has bonded us for centuries. We wonder, can we extend this trust to autonomous machine? And can they learn to trust us in return? I start exploring the literature to find out how we can build the trust in society. What we know, humans have evolved with a fundamental need for social connection. Our ability to connect, communicate, and cooperate has fostered collaboration and bring innovation. At the core of this social connection is the family. Family provide support, love, and the foundation for uh, personal connection. Trust extends to friendship and the workplace. Friendship, support, and bring sense of belonging. In the workplace, trust fosters collaboration and innovation, boosting productivity and creating a sense of community. But I was curious to understand the meaning of trust. There is no unique answer for this terminology. But I found the general terminology, uh, the definition of this trust. Trust is a relationship between two or more entities when the truster is willing to be vulnerable based on the expectation that the trustee will perform a particular action. To build trust, there are a lot of different elements that we need to consider. But I found four interesting elements that I want to share them in a story. Imagine you visit a doctor for regular checkup. Every time without fail, they greet you with a smile, remember your name, and um, follow up on your previous concern. This consistent reliability build your trust in their care. So here, reliability is one of the key elements to build trust. One day, one day your doctor notice a potential issue. Instead of hiding it or downplaying it, they start explaining the situation clearly, outlining the potential issues, um, the test needed, and um, what are the next steps. You're sitting there slightly panicked, thinking, OK, great, now I need a PhD to understand my own health. But this openness and honesty, even if it's a bit overwhelming, strengthens your trust in your doctor. So here, transparency is one of the other key elements that can build trust. During the stressful visit, your doctor sends your worry. So they take extra time to listen and reassure you with empathy and understanding. This emotional connection build further trust in their expertise. So empathy here is one of the other elements. And finally, let's say a new treatment emerge and become available. Your doctor quickly learn about this and adjust your care plan to include it into your care plan and um, and make it available for you. So here, this ability to learn and adopt, build further trust in their care. Through these elements, reliability, transparency, empathy, and adaptability, your trust in your doctor solidifies, mirroring how we build trust in many other relationships. So trust is important when we are interacting with people, and it becomes crucial when AI is integrating into our lives. AI, the transformative technology, mimicking human intelligence, drives advancement across different topics. By enabling computer to 
to understand language, learn from data, recognize pattern, and make decision. With this AI that can be categorized into narrow AI and general AI or AGI, building trust is essential and crucial. Narrow AI is designed for a specific task, like scheduling meeting, recognizing objects in image or videos, or providing recommendation on streaming services. But this narrow AI doesn't have any empathy and broader understanding. Generative AI like ChatGPT can create content, but it doesn't comprehend the context deeply. Unlike narrow AI, we have artificial general intelligence, or AGI, that aspire to replicate human cognitive ability. Imagine an AI that can understand, learn, and reason like a human. It can adapt to your need, learn new tasks quickly, offer you personalized solution, and solve complex problems creatively. It has the ability to handle various tasks across different domains, similar to how humans apply their intelligence to solve different tasks. AI's potential often polarizes opinion generating excitement about its capability that I mentioned, and anxiety about its risks. Integrating AI into our society brings significant risks. One of the concerns and pressing issues is the impact on the employment. Narrow AI systems are already transforming different industries by automating tasks in manufacturing and customer service. These technological shift raise serious issues about the future of work and um, socioeconomic impact on millions of people. Another critical issue is the opacity of AI system. When we don't understand how AI makes decision, it erodes trust, which can lead to dangerous misunderstanding and misuse. These risks highlight the necessity for robust safeguard and ethical guideline, prompting governments across the world to issue a new safe, secure, and trustworthy guideline. To build trustworthy AI, we need to learn from human trust elements that I mentioned including but not limited to reliability, transparency, empathy, and adaptability. Through these elements, AI must perform reliably, clearly communicate their process and decisions, can recognize and respond to human emotion and needs, and continuously learning from these interaction to improve their performance to support human. At Deakin University, my colleague and I, we are focusing on developing um, trustworthy AI that embodies these elements, that can foster mutual trust between human and machine. Through this system, we are able to develop a system that can uh, translate human emotional states into actionable insight. We are developing a system that can recognize a stress level and can respond supportively. We are developing an adaptive system that can un monitor and understand human emotional states, performance, and mental workload, and integrate them as human feedback to adjust system behavior in real time to support human performance. Let me give you an example that makes sense. Consider autonomous driving car that driving on the road but with the requirement having a driver. So these cars must reliably perform tasks and navigate. But there are times that these, drive, that these cars need to give the control back to the driver because the situation is confusing and complex. 
But to ensure safety, it must assess driver's performance, readiness, and a stress level. So if the driver is too stressed and not prepared, it can continue to drive autonomously while giving the transparent and clear communication about the current situation and giving the reasoning about its action. Through this process, we can ensure that the system is reliable, transparent, and adaptable. So it gives us this, hand, this flexibility to hand over the um, car or the control to the driver when the driver is ready. By integrating and incorporating trust elements into our AI system, we can ensure that we are developing an AI system that human can rely on. But this is not the end of the story. We are moving towards AGI. So incorporating these trust elements into AI development is not sufficient. To develop safe, secure, and trustworthy AI, we need to ensure that, that we are navigating responsibly by sharing access and providing and governance widely. Instead of halting its deployment, and waiting for full AI model develop, to be developed in research centers, we must ensure that we are de deploying the less powerful AGI into our society to gain experience. Gradual introduction of more powerful AGI system can allow society to learn better and adjust incrementally. Developing safe and secure and trustworthy AI require input, not only from technologies, but from the policy makers, ethicists, psychologists, and experts from different domains. Only through this collaborative work and working together, we can ensure that we are developing an AI system that is responsible, benefiting humanity, adding value, and contributing to a secure, future for all of us. Thank you.